purposes other than stated in the program. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio on ESPN Radio 1700. Now, live in studio, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are... Welcome... Holy cow, you can tell that I got drugs in me today. A little cold trying to still talk to you anyway. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. And most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guest and repeat offender, Lisa Dunn is in the house. Welcome. Hey there, Ron. How are you? Well, I'm not going to ask. I'm staying as far away from you as I possibly can today. I, I, I get it. Well, then they're watching you there, though, too. I know. We, gotta move the mic fo- we better move the mic over to I'm, you, though. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, so at least we can hear, so we can hear you. You know, we don't want to. Okay. Wanna, okay. Yeah, let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate. Look out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or... RonSiegelRadio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team, when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Now, I cannot participate today. I would be very remiss if I did participate because we do have a celebration and the celebration may just cause some folks to be a little unhappy with me because today is National Hugging Day. So I'm going to stay away from that one, uh, try and keep some people not being too upset with me. So I will stick with National Granola Bar Day. So I won't get anybody sick by doing that one. Uh, moving right along. You know, every once in a while, just once in a while, I have been accused of being a little bit partisan. Not often, but, you know, just once in a while. But here's an interesting story I saw. One mother brought the President of the United States to a halt. Unbelievable. Did you see this story yesterday? One mother bringing the President of the United States to a halt. And I kind of chuckled when I saw this because if you've ever been in a city or location where any President is, it is a royal pain in the neck amongst other places. The traffic is horrendous. The roads get blocked. Also, the president can move through unencumbered. Yeah, but the problem here is Mother Nature, she doesn't listen to the president of the United States. Think about this one. Yesterday, it took the president over an hour to get home from Andrews Air Force Base, an hour to go 13 miles It's kind of like what happens in Los Angeles when the president comes here, in Newport Beach when the president comes here. It can take us a long time, too. One mother, Mother Nature, holding holding up the president of the United States and uh, the, the motorcade. Apparently, they did a little bumper cars with the Secret Service cars hitting curbs. Now, it's going to be very, very interesting watching this whole thing because all of that took place yesterday when the president was heading back home from Detroit And that was with one inch of snow. Today they're expecting, or in the next few days, two to three feet of snow in Washington, D.C. Wonder what they're going to do with that when uh, when that one hits over there. Unbelievable. But, you know, it's just a little bit of fun for us. I, as as frequently do, I I jest a little bit at the president. Uh, No jesting here when we look at our economy. First-time unemployment numbers rose to 293,000 this week. That was just announced this morning. Wall Street expected the claims to fall to 278,000. Just a little bit off. Philadelphia Federal Reserve's gauge of manufacturing still showing contraction. I'm not going to bore you with the numbers, but 
contraction. So why is the market up? Now, yesterday, if you, if you watch the market, when you're listening to us on our broadcast in the morning, if you listen to one of the replays, it was got a whole different story. But on our flagship station here at ESPN 1700, we were down 400 plus points during the broadcast, and the market ends up down 250. Ended up going down over 500 at one point in the day. Right now, we're up 260 points. And the interest, the 10-year treasury, that's up three basis points, so back over 2%. two percent. Now, we're going to talk a lot about that because it's, it is important, but here's the reason that the market rebounded yesterday. Again, most media is not talking about it, but the European Union, they're talking about having to ease again. If they do ease, that's what, that's what turned the market yesterday. If they ease, the market might stabilize a little. If they decide they're not going to ease, we might see that go way back down again. will be interesting to see. But European uh, EU President Draghi suggests that the ECB may need to increase the level of stimulus sooner than expected. The European Central Bank kept its key refi rate at 0.5%. Now, that's an interesting number there because... In some parts of the European Union, the European Central Bank, if you want to give them money to hold for you, you have to pay the bank to take your money. You have to pay them to hold your money. It's not like we have uh, get, you know, minimal interest here. There you're actually paying for that. It's amazing. It's a, an interesting scenario, but that is what's going on right now in Europe. And we are in a global market. When you look at what happened in Asia last night, the Nikkei down 400 points, 2.43%. Hang Seng down 344 points, down 1.82%. Shanghai down 3.25%. Everything red. You look in Europe, they're all up. Well, we'll find out what happens with our markets today. I have been sharing with you on a regular basis. Yes, I do lead a lending team. And right now, interest rates are great for refinancing your house or buying a new house. I believe that we're going to still see some better numbers coming up. Oil is up $1.62 right now. That's affecting these numbers as well. But I think you're going to see some better interest rates to come. What I'm recommending to our team is get your mortgage application in right away. If you decide to buy a house, you're in good shape because you need to have a pre-approval letter. If you're decided, looking to refinance a house, you don't have to pull the trigger on locking in an interest rate right now. You can take advantage of days like yesterday when the market was down showing a 10-year treasury at 1.94%. Yes, the 10-year treasury does not set mortgage rates, but it does influence them a bit. The other influence, obviously, right now, about 1% of your interest rate, 1% on your interest rate is coming from government oversight and the cost to lenders for compliance. Every time you hear a story about Chase agreeing to a billion dollar uh, agreement with the CFPB or Wells Fargo being fined or this company or that company being fined, well, do you think they just pull that money out of a hat? No, they're charging you for it because they're anticipating it's a cost of doing business. I've shared this many times with people. When I had an office in New York City, we were having some building done, and one of the line items on the tenant improvements was parking tickets. Well, the contractor knew that it was a cost of doing business. Right now, lenders know that government oversight and compliance and paying for that is a cost of doing business, so you're paying for it. Don't think that it's the lenders that are paying for it. They just collect the money from you. And if they're a prudent lender, what they do is they have to collect more than what they anticipate a need for because they don't know what they're going to need. So you have to be, same reason when we came out with the simplified, and I use that term jokingly, but when we came out with the simplified forms for mortgages, Guess who paid the extra bill that cost 25% more money on your closing costs because of the simplified forms? When we came out with the in oversight of appraisers, the cost of appraisals increased by about 20%. 
All of these things are issues that whenever you hear government oversight, hold your wallet because it means you are going to pay something somewhere sometime and we'll continue our conversation on that. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. We've got an interesting topic that we will be chatting with Lisa Dunn about today. Divorcing your house and your spouse. I don't know about all that stuff. We'll figure it out though. Lowering your VA loan payment. We're going to talk about how you can do that. What do you actually need to get a mortgage? And some tax moves for the beginning of 2016. Yeah, you start your tax strategies right now. You can reach me anytime. Call our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsiegelradio, on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcasts, about 100,000 people so far this month have watched replays on YouTube, Ron Siegel One. Stay tuned, we'll be back in just a few. Our house, in the middle of our street, our house. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Friday, Ron will pose a question based on on air conversations during the prior seven programs. The person to post the answer according to the guest conversation will win a date night package, including a dinner gift card for Reunion Kitchen and Drink. You might even be able to say hi to Ron when you visit Reunion Kitchen and Drink. It's not every day your home gets flooded, but when it happens, you've got the good people at Apris on your side. With over 25 years of construction and insurance experience, they can turn any disaster around, making your home good as new. For 24-7 support, call 844-GO-APRIS or find us on the web at www.apris.me. Day, night, rain, or shine. When it happens to you, you know what to do. Go APRIS. Remember, call 844-GO-APRIS. That's 844-462-7747. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgage consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives, too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report? It is wrong. They all are. Credit Sanitizer, they have the solution for you. Right there, the middle button, 
I think it's called the FES protection plan. It's about $87 a month and they do a whole lot of stuff for you in helping get your credit scores enhanced. One of the things I want to chat with you about for just a minute in the Your Credit Matters segment today is those of you who are listening and are veterans. And obviously the first thing that I always do with our veterans is thank you. I couldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for you out there having done or doing what you do. You know, I can get to come out here every morning and chat with you and, and have a conversation. We can make fun at politicians. We can make fun and just say whatever we want, basically. You know, you can't be rude to people, but, well, sometimes I am, but it's because of the veterans. So thank you for your service. And one of the things I want you to be aware of, those, those of you that have bought houses in the last year or so, Let's remember that there is a program, with the common name people will refer to as EARL. It's actually I-R-R-L, I can't spell, so that's why I call it EARL. Interest Rate Reduction Loan. And it's a streamlined loan that will just simply reduce the, the interest rate on that VA loan to try and lower payments. Maybe you can lower the term, go from a 30 year to a 15 year if you're comfortable with the payments that you have. But make sure that you're looking at that. Make sure that you're exploring it. If you're dealing with a mortgage professional, you've dealt with a mortgage professional that does not get you a update on your property value and where the market is on your loan at least every six months, I'd recommend you get a different mortgage professional. Because the mortgage professionals, many of them are, are transactional. It's way too big of a transaction for you to be transactional. You need to have a relationship with a mortgage professional. You need to have a relationship with a real estate professional, tax professionals, CPAs, financial planners. That's why we've set up that household board of directors we'll talk about in a bit. But think about this. The VA Streamline Loan has a lot of benefits and ironic, actually, Lisa, you probably know more about this part of it than I do even. You can actually take $6,000 out of that VA loan for energy efficient improvements. Right? I mean, it's... Hey, that's news to me. I'm over here with my VA loan just eating this information up because now I was like, hey, now I got to kind of go home, figure out how much money can I save. We just bought ours using a VA a year ago where, you know, I might be able to save a quarter of a percent interest. And it's amazing how many people look at it and they, there's all, there, it used to be there was that stigma that if you can't save 1%, you know, don't do it. And to me, I've always looked at it a little differently. I look at it, if I could save $100, that's $30,000 over the life of a loan. I don't know about you, but $30,000 to me is a lot of money. Just saying, and when you can do the, when you can explore the whole process for nothing, my middle name is cheap. So <laughs> I'm more than happy to look at this and see what we can do. That is the Your Credit Matters segment, again, brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. Veterans, let us help you save some money and say thank you to you. So, Lisa, we, uh, decide, we, we thought about this. You and I chatted about this probably last year sometime that you were educating me the fact that, that January is the season for divorce. It is. Tis the season for divorce. Why is that? Well... People put up with a lot of stuff throughout the year. They hit December, and they're just like, oh, my God, it's the holidays. Let me see if I can just get through the holidays. Maybe they have kids, and they don't want to disrupt their children, but they can't stand looking at their spouse anymore, and they're like, I can suck this up during the holidays. Well, once they take down that Christmas tree, take down the lights, uh, they're off to the courthouse filing for a divorce. Uh, now it's okay to disrupt the family because it's a new year. Let's start off with massive disruption. But it's, you know, people kind of hope for a Christmas miracle. They think maybe my spouse will change those things that he or she does that drive me crazy. Maybe a true holiday miracle will occur. Uh, probably not. <laughs> so they just say, I'm done. I'm done. Time to move on. New Year's resolution. I'm getting a divorce. It's kind of an interesting one, right? It's a New Year's resolution. Some of us decide that we're going to lose weight. Some, decide <laughs> Some say lose the spouse. <laughs> lose the spouse. So let's, uh, let's chat about that a little bit then as far as 
What are the do's, the don'ts, the things that we need to know, don't don't want to do? What what's Well, if there is a home involved, you have a whole other ball of wax going on just besides, you know, who's going to be spending what time with the kids and, you know, what who gets, you know, the retirement accounts. If there is a house involved, it is so much more involved than what most attorneys will do for valuation, fair split of equity. Um, you know, a lot of times, um, usually on the wife's side, they'll say, I want to keep the house. I don't want to disrupt the family. I want the kids to be, you know, in the same house. Well, hey, that's great. Their lawyer may say, you know what, let's have your husband sign off and quit claim deed. And basically, all that's doing is giving up the title that that person owns to the property and gives it to the other party. Well, that's great if you own your house outright. How many people own their house outright? We're not talk- many. Not many. About, I think the number is actually in the 20% range. So that's pretty slim. Right. So you got 80% of the people then out there with a mortgage, and your attorney says, it's okay. Just sign that quick claim deed. That makes that person go away. Not if there's a mortgage on the house. You are still tied to that person until you refinance that house and get them off the mortgage. But the judge said. Yeah, (laughs) the judge said, yeah. And that's the problem because attorneys, they are very intelligent people. They, They know what they do. Family law attorneys know what they do, but they don't do real estate. And... If you need to buy your spouse out or refinance to get them off the note, what if you don't qualify? You're making an agreement in a courtroom, in a marital um, settlement hearing, to say, I'm going to take over the house, and how do you know you can qualify for a mortgage? How do you know you can make the payments? And that's... And make the payments long term. Exactly. Right? Because you might be able to make them dirt while, until the kids turn 18 or as long as the spouse's support check is coming in, but... That's not long term. That's That's not long term. And also, too, if you have um, the other party still on the mortgage, and let's say they kept the house, and that they said that they'd be making the mortgage payment. So you say, okay, I'm going to get on with my life three, four years down the road. You meet somebody. uh, You want to get married and buy a property with them. Well, you find out that your credit score is in the crapper because this person that you are divorced from and have no idea what's going on, maybe they haven't made the house payments in a year or two or chronically late. Um, That affects you even though you're divorced because you guys are still married on that mortgage. Right. And and I would suggest there's there's a couple of points that come to mind when when we talk about this. I had a, um, a family lawyer in the studio with us recently. And the comment was that judges will tell you that their job is not necessarily to come up with the best outcome for the parties. The law is basically the minimum outcome for the parties. Exactly. Right? So, I mean, it's... And and then you look at the other part of it is when you're talking about, as you just did with the mortgage, if there's a mortgage on the property, even though the judge said, you know, the agreement says that the husband, one party, doesn't matter, one party is responsible for the mortgage. Lenders don't want to get involved in the litigation to force something to be to happen. Yeah, the, the mortgage company doesn't care if you're divorced, married, or whatever. If there's two of you on that mortgage, the two of you are jointly liable for whatever happens. And if you just quick claim the deed, and that person's still on the mortgage, it's just like being married financially, you know. So, uh, what we say is divorce no the divorce the house <laughs> and the spouse. You got to get rid of both of them, or just make that clean break. And something else, um, you mentioned the household board of directors, and I have um, gone through um, pretty significant training to be a collaborative divorce specialist. And when we say collaborative, uh, it's collaborative for everybody working together. And what we do is we bring a team together. Um, with financial planners, lenders, therapists, various other professionals, because this, you know, it, it kind of takes a village. Sure. And one person doesn't know everything. So if you bring the, you know, the brightest people together, they're going to be sure that the outcome for your divorce, which you really don't get a do-over unless you really like paying your lawyer. 
if you like paying your attorney, you can be changing things after the fact, but most people don't like to. So best to do it all up front, best to do it sooner rather than later, so you can make the right decisions going in. And, you know, we mentioned kids earlier, and a lot of people just assume, my kids want to stay in the home, I don't want to disrupt my children, there's enough disruption. Well, what if those kids just come home every day saying, you know what, I look at this house and all I can think about is mom and dad fighting like cats and dogs. Maybe well, a lot of times we make that assumption, but we don't really know. And nobody talks to them and asks. Right, exactly. We're going to talk more about this when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio. Discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. What do you actually need to get a mortgage? We'll talk about that as well. And some tax moves for the start of 2016. You can reach me anytime or any of our guests. Just call me. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsiegelradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Southern California attorneys have over 15,000 real estate agents to call in Orange County for their personal and professional needs. Why do they overwhelmingly call Melinda Johnson? Simple. It's the Melinda Johnson trifecta. Melinda is an attorney, real estate broker, and realtor. Does your family deserve the same professional services California lawyers demand? Call Melinda Johnson at 714-863-5485. That's 714-863-5485. Or on the web at freedomfirstproperties.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of 7 hundred dollars a month and the Siegel lending team knows that character means more than a credit score call 800-306-1990 that's 800-306-1990 rate subject to change without notice licensed by the california department of corporations nmls 21037 and dre number 01869452 37 percent of american homeowners believe they have over 20 percent equity in their homes fannie may tells us 69 percent of american homeowners have over 20 percent equity in their homes fully one in three american homeowners are not informed about the amount of equity they have in their homes are you one of them? How might this be holding you back from achieving your goals? Text RSR CMA 279564 to get a property valuation from one of the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Again, to know how much your home is really worth, simply text RSR CMA 279564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message and is your consumer advocate. I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends over at VIP Mortgage. Question they have for you today is, what do you actually need to get a mortgage? This is kind of ironic because there's so many people right now 
that just have no idea what is needed for a mortgage. And those who do have a small idea, more often than not, they're wrong. So I'm going to share with you some of the information because you may be ready to go buy a house right now and you've just got some bum information coming your way. 59% of Americans either don't know or are misinformed about what FICO score is necessary. 86% of Americans either don't know or are misinformed about what an appropriate debt to income ratio is. 76% of Americans either don't know or are misinformed about the minimum down payment required. Think about that. I mean, the best one was the FICO score at 59% don't know or misinformed. So, well, let's change that right now. FICO scores. If you want an FHA loan, 687 is what the average FICO score was according to a recent report by Ellie May, 687. Now I've shared with you that, that at, at VIP Mortgage, they have programs that go down to 500. But FHA, 687. VA, on average, 706. Conventional, 754. All loans, 721. The debt to income ratio is basically just dividing all of your debts divided by your income. So all loans, 39%. FHA, 42%. VA, 40%. Conventional, 35 I can tell you this, I see loans going through at 55%. These are averages here. Average down payment for closed loans by loan type. Again, all this information coming from Ellie May. 21% is the average down payment. That's a skewed number. 31% comes from conventional loans. That's generally going to be people, maybe not always, but frequently, that's your move up buyer. They've already been in their property. The property is appreciated. They're moving that equity from one home to another. There are some people that can save, but a good portion of the conventionals are move up buyers. Average FHA loan, 4%. Average VA loan, 2%. And you know that you can do a, two, a VA loan with 0% down payment. And you can do an FHA loan at 3.5% down payment. So whether you're buying your first home, moving up to a dream home, knowing your options will definitely make the mortgage process easier. And your dream home may already be in reach. Let's, let's have a conversation about it to see how that works for you. That is the Mortgage Minute, again, being brought to you by our friends over at VIP Mortgage. Continuing our conversation this morning with Lisa Dunn, Casa Bella Realty. Lisa, I want to chat with you because you brought up a term that I have a feeling a majority of people have no clue what this term means. You are sharing that you have a designation in collaborative divorce. Yep. What is collaborative divorce? Collaborative divorce is more like mediation or you can still have your own attorney representation but instead of you know going in there with guns blazed and trying to you know duke it out and and going in from an adversarial position this is a more friendly kinder gentler way of getting a divorce where everybody But if we were friendly kindly kind and gentle we might not be getting divorced. Well that's why you got these professionals that are trying to keep you kinder and gentler you know I mean honestly I have never seen an amicable divorce ever really be amicable but when you go out and you have people wh whose jobs are to make it amicable they're going to kind of keep everybody in check a little bit they're going to say you know what you really need to go talk to a therapist um and kind of you know get your head on straight which there's nothing to be ashamed of with that anyhow but you know sometimes you're you're just you're angry you're hurt um, you need to talk to somebody and sometimes your attorney when they're like hitting that clock and you're sitting there pouring your heart out to them they're just like come on baby tell me more because I'm making you know 100 200 500 dollars an hour from you you're better off going to a professional who's going to guide you properly whether it's a financial planner to be sure that um, whatever your financial situation is coming out of this you can you can have somebody giving you good advice on how to set up your marital settlement agreement um, same with the CPA to be sure that you're not making any silly tax mistakes. Uh, a professional realtor, there's a full-time realtor 
that knows what they're doing, uh, preferably somebody with training, uh, such as the uh, collaborative divorce um, specialist. And there's a lot of great realtors out there, but but the arena of divorce is a specialty. It's like there's a lot of great doctors out there, but not everybody's qualified to do open heart surgery. Exactly. And what I learned in that course, it was an intensive two-day course taught by a law professor from Vanderbilt University. She designed this um, uh, residential real estate and, you know, lawyer, lawyer continuing education as well. So, you know, she's a top-notch gal. I learned more from her that I have applied across all kinds of real estate because it was bringing things to a legal aspect. You know, she's the one that basically explained how you have to get them off the mortgage, how, you know, a quick claim deed doesn't do it all the time, how to do that deep pro property profile search, looking for liens that have been recorded against the property. Maybe it's a personal lien, but it can still come up against the property during a, um, a marital settlement hearing. And you know, a lot of the lawyers out there just think that the equity um, that's going to be split between the husband and wife is you take the appraised value of the home, subtract the outstanding Some loan balance. Some of them just use the Zillow value of the home, too. Exactly, uh, which is pretty skewed, but that's a story for another day. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and so they use appraised value less uh, mortgage balance equals equity divided by two. Well, in a perfect world, that would be great, but what's the true value of that house? An appraiser is not an inspector. They don't know if the roof is shot and has um, maybe one more year before it comes you know, into a sieve, um, that the furnaces are on their last leg, that the appliances are basically 25 years old and need to be replaced. If the party that says, I'm going to buy you out, doesn't realize that the house has deferred maintenance and you maybe have ten, twenty thousand dollars of expenses to get that house up to snuff, you really want to, you know, give that away to, to and the, the other tax party. liability involved too. Exactly. There's a lot going on. So there's a lot of moving parts and that's why you need somebody who really knows what they're doing. Now one of the things that I loved when I heard this, because I, I had not heard this initially, many times good, bad or indifferent, I mean in every industry there are really ethical people and there are unethical people. Every industry. I don't, it doesn't matter to me what industry it is. But the legal world, many of us have the connotation, again, right or wrong, that the attorney just wants to rack the bill up mm -hmm. and create more billable hours. One of the things I really found fascinating was when you, if you go to a collaborative attorney, they cannot based on their, I don't know what it is, rule of ethics or contract or retainer, they cannot represent either party in court. No. Mm -mm. They're, and I think that's great. Yeah, it's, it's basically everything's done outside of the courtroom. You make all of your decisions outside of the courtroom. So you're not racking up all of that, the, that time, that anguish that goes along with that because it's you know I, I always ask people that come to me saying hey Lisa do you know a good divorce attorney I'm like okay do you want somebody that can work this out or do you want a pit bull because that's your choices you know I, I, use, mean, a, I use that I use barracuda but it's the same difference pit bull, barracuda yeah exactly <laughs> Lots exactly. of teeth involved, no matter what. But, you know, if you just want to get through things as easy as you can, you really should look at a mediation situation. And cheaper. Oh, heck Holy yeah. cow, it's, it's a, a lot, lot cheaper. cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. And, you know, you just, you just do things smart. It's all about doing things smart. You can do it traditional, which is more of the, I'm going to go in and duke it out. Or you can just do things smart and get that mediator, get the collaborator, and just be done with it and move on. Get on with your life with the minimum amount of stress because, let's face it, you're moving. Moving is stressful. It's right up there on the top five most stressful things that goes on in your life. Moving is one. Divorce is another. Combine the two, you're just a basket case anyhow. Just try to just make it easy on yourselves and let the professionals help you. Well, it goes back to getting professional guidance, and I'm going to suggest again, once again, like I, I do on a regular basis, here's the issue, is if you've got that household board of directors, if, if divorce is in your future, you know, you want to get some great guidance, and I don't believe, if somebody, if nobody ever told you about collaborative law, you'd probably wouldn't know it, because it's not something that you see advertised a lot, you may not even know what it means, and... 
there was something at some point in time that got you and your partner together. At some point in time, you got married for some reason. Well, if you can get along long enough to dissolve, I mean, you plan two, three, six, 12 months for a wedding. If you can get along long enough to go through the collaborative process, you can save as much as it costs you for that wedding. I'm going to chat more about that when we come back, continuing our conversation with Lisa Dunn, Casabella Realty. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. We're also going to talk about some tax moves that might be good for you for 2016. And you can reach me anytime. Call our off-air number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, maybe you know somebody going through this. Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Do you have a loved one who wants to stay in their home but you have health concerns about it? The Preferred Care Team understands the challenges of caring for your loved ones. Their goal is to keep seniors as independent as possible while maintaining their health, safety, and overall well-being. Whether you need just a few hours a week or 24-hour care, Preferred Care caregivers are trained to meet your needs. Call Preferred Care at 714-696-9150. That's 714-696-9150. Or visit preferredcare.com. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed-rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800. 306-1990 or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com or 1-800-306-1990 Rate subject to change without notice Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502 Equal housing lender Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency Credit problems stopping you from getting your next car? No one can promise you an approval but at North County Ford and Vista they work hard to get you approved North County Ford and Vista you can count on them. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 one nine nine zero eight hundred three zero six nineteen ninety. Tax moves to make at the start of two thousand sixteen. That is the subject of today's word on wealth segment, being brought to you by 
your household board of directors. That would be the area trusted professionals in your neighborhood. It doesn't have, do any good if you're in Chula Vista to have a real estate professional that's in Glendora. Not good. So we have the area trusted professionals in every neighborhood. So they're, they're in your area. That's why we termed it that. So what are some of these moves that you can make to start this year to see about maybe saving some money on taxes, getting the write-offs you're entitled to? Number one is if you are a business person, have you written down your car mileage for the beginning of the year? Should have. I, there's two apps that I recommend very, very highly for everybody. <clears throat> One app is called Evernote. That way you can take notes on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, and it crosses all the platforms, and you can put some of your tax notes right in there. I also would highly recommend Dropbox. As soon as you come up with an expense, you go out for lunch and it's a business lunch, Write down on the top of the receipt who you went to lunch with. Take a picture with your phone of that receipt and put it right in Dropbox. Set up a tab in there for your taxes 2016. Then you've got it all in one place, nice and easy. So write down your odometer reading for the beginning of the year. Second, it is a new year. Take a look at what your W-4 looks like. Do you need to change your withholding? If you bought a new house last year, there's a likelihood that you're going to get some tax benefits. The government doesn't want you to get a big refund. And I know a lot of people like that idea that I got a big refund. Well, that's basically saying that you want the government to have your money all year instead of you. I don't like that idea. I want you to have it. If you are a gambler, yeah, you might have that W2G. You got to be careful. C casino winnings are taxable. Did you move last year? Banks, employers, they might have the wrong address for you. Make sure you've got them updated so you do get those 1099s and W2s that you're entitled to so you can file your taxes. If you're a business owner, have you filed your, have you uh, issued your 1099s? How about health insurance coverage? Nowadays, you have to have proof of your health insurance coverage. That's another item that you need for your taxes. Did you officially change your name in 2015? You got to check on that one. We're talking about divorce this morning. Well, and I can tell you this one. I've never been divorced. Ironically enough, way back when, when I did get married, my wife changed her name legally and got a new social security card, the whole nine yards. She went through the whole process. About six or seven years ago, when we, first, when we started filing our taxes electronically, hers were rejected. In the infinite efficiency of our government, I, I, I just chuckle when I say that, in the infamous efficiency of our government. This is ridiculous. Her tax, our taxes were rejected. The government said they did not know her by her married name. Even though she had a new social security card with her married name on it, IRS didn't know it. So make sure you check all the entities. That's just a few items that you can look into, some tax moves for the beginning of the year. That is the Word on Wealth segment, again, brought to you by your household board of directors. All you need to do is text ATP to 79564, text ATP to 79564, fill out a little brief survey there, and we will connect you with all of the people that you need for that board of directors. And to continue our conversation this morning, talking with Lisa Dunn, Casa Bella Realty, talking tis the season for divorce. I love that uh, that blog headline that you have on there, Lisa. It's, uh, I'm just such a jokester. <laughs> But you know something, you have to do something that's going to stand out, right? I try, you know, and I was just, you know, mentioning to you earlier, trying this blog thing. You know, if anybody out there wants to read my blog, Lisa D four R E, uh, it's on Tumblr. Um, you know, uh, Lisa check. D. Now, is it do you spell out the word four or is it the numeral? It's the number. Okay. 
Yeah, L-I-S-A-D number four R-E. And just started that up on Tumblr. Uh, this is my first post, working on my second post, going to try to have something on there weekly, something timely. Um, you know, January is divorce season, so we figured let's start with that. But we're going to be doing some things on there, helping out first-time buyers, what they need to know, how they need to find a trusted lender that's willing to, you know, hold their hand and explain things to them, just like we're you know, ready to hold their hand and explain things to them on the real estate front. And also some updates, you know, we we have our uh, state California Association of Realtor meetings coming up. Uh, I've got a few things going on. Uh, my passion besides divorce and veterans is uh, common interest subdivisions, HOAs, condos, the rules, policies, and I would like to call myself a disruptor on that front. So, Or a helper. Helping the homeowner. I don't think there's too many of those homeowner association management companies that are too happy with me right now, but... That makes me happy. <laughs> but you know something there? It's just because they're not, in my opinion, doing what they should be. Exactly. And we're calling them out on that. We've got some... So explain what's going on with that, Lisa. Well, I am on a study group for the state association uh, regarding document and transfer, documentation and transfer fees that a seller by law has to pay when they sell a home. And I can bet you dollars to donuts right now, if you have a house in a common interest subdivision, which basically would be anything with an HOA, that you don't know what it's going to cost you to get those documents and pay that transfer fee. There's something wrong with that. So how would I find that out? Or how would <laughs> Well, first you got to sell your house. And then the escrow company will call up the homeowner association management company and say, okay, how much money does the seller need to bring in to pay these fees? And that's when you find out. They'll so issue is it a fee that from the association? Is it a fee from the management company or is it a government fee? It's a management company fee that they can charge pretty much whatever they want. That has to be reasonable. But who who says, determines reasonable? Yeah, exactly. You're and talking about a three, four, five hundred thousand dollar piece of property. Well, if you say reasonable is one percent, that's a lot of money. Well, and what I find in the areas that I work in, a lot of the areas have two HOAs. Sometimes you can even find three. It's kind of crazy, um, but you know the bulk of them have two. One is a master association, and the other one would be the subdivision. And you have to pay the documentation and transfer fees on each association. So uh, one of my last transactions, I saved the um, demand from the HOA company. And it was $722 for one association. Wow. So and a blind fee at that. Blind fee. And the interesting thing was is they have a disclosure in the package for the seller and the buyer. The seller never sees the disclosure because the package goes directly to the buyer. So, so the seller's getting a big surprise when he gets his check because there's something missing. And the seller doesn't seven hundred dollars. Seller just paid seven hundred and twenty-two dollars for something he never sees, and he had no idea what that cost was. So, so that's your uh, mission for this year. That's my mission for this year. That's what we're working on on a state level. The work group that I'm on. Um, your mission from last year, I think, was a great one. Also, yeah, we got a a AB, AB 596 is on the books, which is letting homeowners know if they're attached condo project has FHA and VA approval. VA is a lifetime approval, so once you have it, it's great. FHA expires every two years. We have a few laws um, that are trying to get pushed through right now. Everybody write their congressman, HR 3700. It's sad. I am such a wonk on this now. Um, but we're trying to make the FHA approval process a little bit easier. There has been a one-year exception granted for easing of some of the rules and the owner occupancy rates. This is, you know, really getting into the weeds. If you want more information, you can always reach out through Ron, and I'd be happy to talk to anybody on boards of HOAs right now. And but the important part, of, and the, the, the cliff notes... Dating myself again. <laughs> Alec, you they probably don't even know what Cliff Notes are, do you? Everybody knows what Cliff Notes are. <laughs> okay. So the Cliff Notes version is, is that the HOA, the Homeowners Association now, has to tell us on a regular basis if the once project... A once a year. Once a year in their um, annual report. And one of the things that we're going to be discussing at this meeting um, next week 
is do we want to pursue legislation to make them disclose what the HOA transfer fees and documentation fees are if you go to sell your home and have to report that on an annual basis as well. It's all about transparency and disclosure. You know, it seems to me well that how, who's going who's gonna to be against transparency and disclosure other than that small group of homeowners association management companies. That's pretty much about it. It was actually pretty interesting um, last year. I did get an opportunity to go to Sacramento and testify on behalf of the VA FHA um, law that just hit the books. And to actually see these lobbying groups. Now, granted, I have to consider myself a lobbyist as Certainly. well. Which but lobbying to help the I'm lobby, you know, homeowner. Helping the homeowner. Tell me where there's a homeowner lobby. Absolutely. We, we need that. We're it. Your realtor association is it. And that's what we do is to help protect things. Well, that's our whole idea. And that's our radio broadcast is, it, is to helping you understand what your rights are, what you can do. And that's why we ask you to set your first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A very big thanks to Steve, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And remember, make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun, have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. You're listening to ESPN Radio 1700. They were a